Republican presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis squared off with California Governor Gavin Newsom on the debate stage last night. It was billed as a red state, blue state showdown. ABC's chief Washington correspondent John Carl has the highlights. Right at the start of the debate, California Governor Gavin Newsom, who isn't running for president, taunted Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is running but trailing badly, with a reminder that neither of them would likely be on the ballot next fall. There's one thing in closing that we have in common is neither of us will be the nominee for our party in 2024. The debate was, however, something of a foreshadowing of the case Republicans will bring against President Biden. People used to be able to work hard and get ahead. That is not true under Joe Biden. And the kind of defense Democrats can offer of what Newsom called Bidenomics. 3.9% unemployment, the lowest black unemployment in American history, the lowest unemployment for Hispanics in American history, the lowest unemployment for women in 70 years, the lowest black poverty rates in history. For DeSantis, it was a chance to try to inject some energy into a campaign that badly needs it, as Newsom gleefully pointed out. You're trolling folks and trying to find migrants to play political games to try to get some news and attention so you can out Trump Trump. And by the way, how's that going for you, Ron? You're down 41% points in your own home state. Less than a year ago, DeSantis was leading Donald Trump in polls of Republican voters, but he has been losing ground for months, now trailing Nikki Haley. No one will outwork me in this race. And this has been a big week for Haley. She won the endorsement of perhaps the most well-funded conservative grassroots organization in the U.S., Americans for Prosperity.